Hi Cancers, welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina. I hope that y'all are doing well. Whew, y'all. This week is going to be insane and I'm sorry these videos are going to be kind of like here and there and everywhere, but thanks so much for being here with me today. Cancers, we have the kiss, the thread, the shaman, and the flame. <sighs> you know, I kind of feel like there's this idea and, and honestly, I really and truly do not know how I feel about the idea of the twin flame or the idea of soulmates. To me, like what like my twin flame has meant to me has just been a lot of like, which fits into the category of, you know what I mean? You're just kind of like, like this person who you just, like every time you look back at their lives, every time you, you like connect with them, it's almost like this spark of electricity that goes through your body. <laughs> you know what I mean? And yet it's, it's that spark of electricity that jolts you clean across the room. You know what I mean? Like it's not pleasant. <laughs> um, and also just this idea of like letting it go. Um, I don't know. I just like the flame is usually like a moth to a flame, but for whatever reason, it really did just feel to me like this whole, I don't know, like a release. Like I just felt like this relief of release. You know what I mean? <laughs> um, and I don't know, maybe for some of my cancers, there's this, there's something in your life that you just were holding on to and you were like, but this is what makes me excited. And this is what da 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 da. And then it's like releasing it is like, like, whew, I didn't anticipate feeling so relieved. <laughs> you know what I mean? I didn't anticipate this. I don't know, like just like the sense of relief. That's the only thing that I can think of. Um, I don't know. And then the thread and the kiss, I mean, this is the idea of like, the, but there's something else that you're connected to because if you're releasing something, almost this idea of like, but this is what I'm supposed to be connected to, right? Like this is what it's supposed to be. And it's like, when you release that, like what it's supposed to be, any like desire that you had to try and like, I don't know, make things be like accommodating for these people or do you know what I mean? It's just like you completely release this and then you just feel such a sense of release that it's almost like you're like, I almost feel like this. And then you're pulled up in a direction that actually offers you a sense of intimacy, a sense of knowing a relationship that isn't like that, that electricity vault, that, shocks you clean across the room. It's more like a steady stream, a steady currency. You know what I mean? Like that light that, that stays on for you. I just love <laughs> cancers. Okay. This is definitely feeling way better than our other reads were. <laughs> Me and me. Okay. The three of wands the two of pentacles, the six of pentacles, and the five of, pen of pentacles. I mean, again, cancers, it just feels like this idea of like, it's time to release this thing that you are holding on to. It's time to release this idea that you're holding on to, you know, like let it go and allow for what is yours to come to you, you know? And I guess I started with that whole example because I feel like you know, it's just like a popular thing in, in certain communities, you know, and I think really and truly oftentimes what we're seeking when we seek out these definitions is just an understanding of like, why am I experiencing this type of relationship with this person? You know, like, how can I make sense of this? <clears throat> and I feel like that kind of like that almost like, how can I make sense of this? puts in like an energy of like an effort of almost like this idea of like, well, I have to call it this and I have to call it this and I have to call it this. And it's like, you don't have to call it anything. You can just take that jolt that sent you across the room, pick yourself up and go in another direction where you are drawn into a level of intimacy and partnership that honors what it is that I think you were trying to have with another person. Like to the point where you were like, but they're my soulmate or they're my twin flame. And it's like, <sighs> like, 
sometimes we need to just be willing to understand that all we're seeking is like understanding, not resolution, but understanding. Um, and if, and if those terms offer us a sense of understanding and offer us a sense of resolution, fine, that's great. I just don't want to encourage anybody to make decisions because they think that their soul is connected to another person, you know, like, because I'm like, I just think that we, we are emotional creatures, you know, and when we experience an, an intense emotion with another person, we have a really difficult time um, letting that go because it's like, well, what if I don't ever experience that again? And it's like, well, you won't if you keep hanging on to something, <laughs> you know what I mean? Let it go. And I feel like you have let it go. Um, but, it, but like this time it doesn't feel like you just let it go, but it's still there. This time it just feels like, like a complete release. <laughs> Um, that I think clears a lot of confusion because again, it's like that, well, what if they're this person to me? Um, and it's like, well, I, I don't know. I just like, does that matter? And I, you know, and I know I say that and it's like, well, it does matter because, you know, they did this and we did that and we're just da 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 and we had this connection and it's like, okay, yes, yes, hear it, hear it, digest it let it go. <laughs> because that's when you're going to really call into you what is for you, right? Whether that's a, like, whether that's an actual, we're in this, like, relationship, soul flame, twin flame, whatever, soulmate, twin flame, whatever, um, or, you know, like, or you're just like, what am I doing with my life? And I really thought that this was the one thing that I wanted to do. And these are all the reasons why I wanted to do it. And this is why I thought like, this is what I'm supposed to do. This is what I'm supposed to do. And it's like, no sooner do you let that go, then you find yourself in like, in a situation and a, in, in a new role and a new company and a new group of friends and a new whatever, where you're just like, <sighs> Dope. <laughs> Do you know what I mean though? You just got to let some shit go. Temperance. Oh, and you had the three of wands. I don't know if I picked that up, but this is a trip card. So some of my cancers could be going on a trip. Um, some of you could be come, going on a trip to see you. Take it how it resonates. That was an entire fucking stack. So we have the chariot and temperance that came out here. Again, it does. It just feels like this. If you just release this thing that you're holding on to, you're going to feel so relieved and so free and so for like you're just like forward movement, you know, to a state of balance. Because again, instead of trying to make something be something because in your mind that's what you think it should be, it's like, no. <laughs> you gotta let that go. Okay, so we have the five of wands and the devil. Again, just like fighting for something that is locking you in to just like this cycle where it's like, just like, okay, you understand it now. You you gave, you gave you named it, you tamed it, right? Now let it go. <laughs> um, the knave of swords, the knight of pentacles, the eight of swords, the eight of pentacles, the eight of wands, lots of eights here. Um, you know, like working on yourself, realizing that you're only like literally everything that I've said, though, has lent to the idea of like holding on to something in a way where you're like, but this is what it's supposed to be and feeling so restricted and confined in that. But working on yourself and figuring out what you want and and like how you want to live your life and what you want to like your like all of the things, you know what I mean? And it's just kind of like making a quick decision, I think to move forward in a way that like honors your truth and sets you out to, to set you up for success. <laughs> you have the eight of wands twice. And I really do feel like it's just that sense of release. Like as soon as you name it and tame it and release it, you're just like, ah. <laughs> like this is such a pleasant feeling. Okay. Cancers. <laughs> the mirror. You. But definitely in alignment with everything that I was just saying. 
you know, just like this fractured idea of like, you think that it's like, you think that's the role, you think that's the job, you think that's the person and, and you think it because it fits into like some version of, of your idea of what life is supposed to look like. But really and truly, I just kind of get the feeling that there is this, I don't know, just it doesn't embody the fullness of you. I feel like you got into a relationship or you got into a job or you got into something where it was like, it doesn't really like, that's not like, that's your version of me. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I feel like, like this, this version of you was like something that resonated with you. And you were like, well, okay, so maybe this is the thing. Maybe this is what I'm supposed to do, but it never, it never, really felt right. It felt like something that you needed to try and make sense of because it didn't really make sense. And it's like, well, naming and taming, you know, like the fact that this is just a fraction of an image and a fraction of a, like a, a, a story and that there's a whole lot more to you than whatever these fractured ideas are. And you've hold, held on to them because a part of you resonated with it, but that is not your entirety. Right. And so you let it go. You go on a journey. I don't know cancers because we have the journey and the three of wands, which very much feels like traveling to me. Um, so it could be that some of you all will be doing some traveling. Um, I don't know, take what resonates and leave the rest. I love this energy though, cancers. And this makes me very happy and hopeful. So, um, you know, hoping that it resonates for all of us. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Please give me a like, share, and subscribe if this video does resonate and I will see y'all again soon. Bye.